Um, hallelujah. We are a few numbers this morning, but we're going to start our devotion and we're going to give God thanks, praise, honor, and glory this morning. Hallelujah. First, I must be the Holy Spirit who is the head of my life this morning. And my pastor, Pastor Kevin Allen, Pastor Michael Thompson, and my apostle, who is the founder this morning, Apostle Bishop V.T. Williams. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you have your hymnal this morning, could you turn your Bible this morning to hymnal 417. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress, glory divine. Here of salvation, purchased of God. Perfect sub 
are few in numbers this morning, but we are going to pray this morning. And all our viewers this morning who are watching this morning and live on our Facebook this morning. Oh, we urge you all this morning to join in prayer wherever where you are this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let us bow our heads in prayer and look to our God, our Lord, our Savior this morning. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Eternal Father, Redeemer, and King this morning. We praise you this morning, mighty God. From the rising of the sun, mighty God, to the very going down this morning, mighty God. We praise you this morning, mighty God, because you are in control this morning, mighty God. Hallelujah. We lift you up this morning, mighty God, from this house this morning, mighty God, because you said, oh God Almighty, if you be lifted up this morning, mighty God, you will draw all men unto you this morning, mighty God. Oh God Almighty, in spite of God Almighty, of the situation, mighty God, you are in control, mighty God, because it is you, O oh God Almighty, who upholds, mighty God, this universe this morning, mighty God, in the hour of your hands, this morning, mighty God. I pray this morning, mighty God, that you will have mercy this morning, mighty God, upon this nation this morning, mighty God. Have mercy this morning, mighty God, upon this world this morning, mighty God. God. Hallelujah, the whole world this morning, mighty God. is in turmoil this morning, mighty God. Oh God, almighty prime ministers this morning, mighty God. I'm looking for answers this morning, oh God, almighty. All over this morning, mighty God, but the answers lies in you this morning, mighty God. You said, oh God, almighty, in the last days, mighty God, that every knee, oh God, almighty, is going to bow
This morning, mighty God, trust. Mighty God, lead and guide us. This morning, without you, do it, oh God Almighty. It cannot be done. Hallelujah. Lead our pastors this morning. Lead our prime ministers this morning. Lead this morning, mighty God. Hallelujah. Only you alone, mighty God. You alone is worthy this morning. And we thank you, Lord, as we depend on you this morning for answers. We are depending on you, mighty God. Mighty God, I'm not weary this morning. I'm not sad this morning, mighty God. Because I know you are in control. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We lift you up from this house and we praise you. And we we'll exalt you, and we we'll magnify you, and we we'll look to you this morning, and we tell you thanks, mighty God, for what you have done and what you are about to do. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you have your Bible this morning, grab your Bible this morning and turn your Bible this morning to Psalms 46. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. And we are reading from verse 1 to the end of Psalms 46. Hallelujah. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear through the earth be removed and through the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, to the water there of war and be troubled. Though the mountain shake the swelling thereof, there is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The heathen rage, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the work of the Lord. What desolation he had made in the earth. He maketh war to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in thunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Hallelujah. Here ending a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be. World without end. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. He is worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah. Worthy to be exalted this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we welcome our praise and worship team this morning. Make them welcome in the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's give God some worship this morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, let's give God some glory this morning. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's the King of kings and he's the Lord of lords this morning. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, look at the name of Jesus. 
Where he thinks he has done, he has blessed us with this opportunity to be in his house to worship him. Glory to God, to God be the glory. What a blessing he has been to us this morning. Thank you so much, praise team. You may be seated if you can in the house of the Lord. I want to take time out this morning to welcome each and every one this morning in the house of the Lord. Thank you for making it out. Thank you to the praise team, the musicians, the devotional leaders and the beautiful saints that are here this morning at the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center Church. To God be the glory, we are still in operation. I want to say welcome to all our members in and around Old Harbor and its environs who are joining us live on Facebook and on YouTube. We want to thank those in the diaspora across this, the Caribbean and the Americas who are joining us live this morning. Thank you for joining us. I want to send greetings out to our apostle and founder, the Reverend Dr. V.T. Williams, our host pastor, Pastor Michael Thompson. I want to send greetings to Bishop, Bishop Garcia Edwards. I want to send greetings to all the leadership of the Old Lama Evangelistic Center Church and to everyone joining this house today we want to say welcome to Sunday morning service and no matter what happens we pray God from this house that the word of the Lord may continue to be expressed from this pulpit we pray that the power of God continue to move across these waves and persons can hear the voice crying out in the wilderness come here to the Savior there is a voice crying out to somebody that when they hear that my voice take heed redemption joy I the word of God will be coming from this house that sinners must drop sin and come to repentance that the unrighteous man must forsake his unrighteousness and come to God for his deliverance and his healing. So by way of announcement this morning, just like to let you know that the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center Church will continue to comply with the rules and the regulations of the Jamaican government and we will have our numbers less than 10 as we have today but we will have church we will broadcast live from this sanctuary until there is no more possibility we will broadcast live from under a tree but we will continue to broadcast the word of almighty God this morning I just like to thank the church one more time for their support the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center Church yesterday right here we successfully in all this that is happening we successfully had a wedding ceremony of Mr. and Mrs. Thompson to God be the glory Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Thomas to God be the glory they were successfully joined here yesterday in a very simple but wonderful wedding and the presence of the Lord who is in our midst. I'm so glad this morning that we can come to you live from this house. And we pray that as a community, as a family, as communities, as a parish, as a nation, and as the universe come together, there is one source of power we have. That is a source of prayer. When we get to our families, to our communities, those of us who are still have to be going to work in this time, I encourage us remember, to pray for our colleagues, pray for our families, pray for our co-workers, pray for the government of this nation, Jamaica, because we need your support in prayer. 
perhaps again, those that are listening in, please remember the elderly in your community that are encouraging you to go into the elderly's home because they are the persons who are more likely to be affected by this COVID-19 pandemic. But go outside your gate, call to them, ensure that they are okay. Ask them if there is anything that they would need if you can go and get it for them so that they don't have to be on the street as best as possible. I'm asking us to look out for the elderly, look out for the less fortunate, try in this time to assist somebody as best as possible. A question was asked, Pastor, what do I do with my offering? If you can bless somebody, you can bless somebody with your offering. Because giving your offering is not giving it to me or giving it to somebody else. But our offering is sowing into the future to God an expectation that God will bless you and God will bless me. So if there is somebody in need, you can reach in your purse and in your wallet and bless them with an offering. Pray over it and present it to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm giving my offering even though I'm not in church, but I'm giving. Find somebody who you can assist in this time and assist them. Don't be selfish. Don't think about yourself alone, but be concerned about your neighbors. Be concerned about your friends. Be concerned about your family. Stay in touch. Call up somebody. Pray with somebody. Encourage somebody. Send somebody a scripture. Send somebody a song. Find a way. Let iron sharpen the iron in this time. Let somebody feel your countenance, even though they are not here in the house of the Lord with us. It's a blessing this morning to know that from this house we can have a song. From this house we can have a word. From this house we can glorify the Lord. We know ordinary way. So I want to say welcome. Thank you for joining us. What a blessing it is today to know that the Lord is in our midst. As we move on in our service, we will now have a corporate prayer as we pray for the, the nation, as we pray for our communities, as we pray for those on the front line, the armed forces, the nurses, the doctors, the various civil servants, those in JPS, those in Water Commission, who are keeping our utilities going. We want to pray for those persons today. We're going to have a corporate prayer. Wherever you are in Facebook, on Facebook, wherever you are across the island this morning, joining us live. I'm asking you just to join with us in prayer at this time as we bring our nation, as we bring our country, as we bring the world, China, Iran, Russia, United States of America, North America, South America, the Caribbean Islands, this pandemic, no one has escaped. But glory to God, prayer has no border. Prayer has no border. Prayer has no restriction. Prayer has no wall that can stop us from worshiping the Lord. So this morning as we are in the house, just stand with me at this time. As we unite in prayer, join with me as we say, for you, I am praying. I am praying. For you, welcome, my brother. Your promise be with me here, and thank you for coming.
shall speak softly, can we make in prayer? Father, we honor you this morning. We glorify you for who you are. Lord, this morning as we come before your presence, we ask you, Lord, to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Wash us thoroughly in the blood that is drawn from Emmanuel's vein and cleanse us, O oh God, and make us worthy enough to approach your throne. Father, this morning as we come to you, the world is in a crisis and many are seeking answers that only you can provide. Father, this morning we pray for the unification of the leadership across the world, across governments and across borders. Let institutions, let fellowship be united because we need each other more than ever. An answer is coming from Cuba. An answer is coming from Russia. An answer is coming from the United States. An answer is coming from Jamaica. An answer is coming, Father God. But we must be united, oh God, to overcome in this time. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, Remember those mothers, remember those fathers, 
where I come from this morning, where the resource will be coming up, where the resource will be coming from. But Father, from this house, from this house, Father, I pray that you, God, may send a witness, may send a source. From this house we cry that there's somebody may receive a knock and they get because you're our provider. You're our healer. You're our way maker. You're our deliverer. Father, from this house, I pray for our families. This is our family Sunday. This Sunday is dedicated to our families in church. And this morning I pray for every family across this parish, across this island, every family across the world. Those that are in Mali's Father, help them to unite. Those that are not living in peace, peaceably, help them to come together in peace. Let families unite together to overcome in this time. We need each other more than ever. Oh God, separate the divisions. Oh God, break down the walls and barriers that are afflicting families. Let families come together. Oh God, let brothers and sisters of peace. Let husbands and wives of peace. Oh God, let mothers and fathers. Oh God, have peace in this time. So as a family, as a community, and as a nation, we can overcome in this time. Lord, I thank you this morning for your blessing from this house. Lord, I thank you for your resource. I thank you that you are our source. And God, I pray that you may continue to bless us as we look to you for strength this morning. Lord, have your own way as we put our lives, as we put this name, Sean, as we put the world in your hand, have your own way and bless us now. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, Jesus' name. Somebody say, Jesus' name. Somebody say, Jesus' name. Somebody say, Jesus' name. To God with the glory. Great things he has done. So love you the world that he gave was his son. What a blessing it is today to know that we are free from sin and we have Christ within. There is a son that the Lord, as I prayed dear, I said, but I know I did this son before. But the Lord is saying, in this time more than ever, we need to know where we are in Him, what we're about to do. It's just about time for us to have the word from our speaker today. It's just about time for us to eat from the bread of life. But I'd just like for us just to join with me from your hymnal, thank you Deacon Cambridge. Join with me from your hymnals, song number 180. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold, their wings are strong. When the strong tides lift and the cable strain, Will your anchor shift or will it firm remains? What a question this morning. When the world is in a storm called COVID-19, persons are asked to be locked down. Children are asked to be out of school. What a hurricane! The world is facing when places are closed, the markets are closed. Someone said that there's coming a time when the streets will be silent. Rabba, shiko, rabba. The grinders will be few, but the question. 
specialist this morning will your alcohol in the storms of life. Rock 8. Will your alcohol in the storms of life?
And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, and they encamped in the valley of Elah, and drew up in battle array against the Philistine. Verse 45. Now David said to the Philistine, yes. You came to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, yes. but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, yes. the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defined. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And I will strike you and take your head from you. Yes. And this day I will give the carcass. Let me read again verse 46. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcass the camp of the Philistine for the birds of the air yes. and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into your hands, our hands. Verse 48. So it was, then the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David. Then David hurried and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. 49 and last. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone. And he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead, so that the stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the earth. We say amen to the reading of God's holy word. You may be seated. I would like for you to focus on a simple theme with me for a few moments. Defeating our giants of fear. Defeating our giants of fear. Yes. Uh, focus with me on three points. One, fearless shepherd. Two, faithful servants. And three, spiritual fighter. According to the Collins Dictionary, the verb defeat, which derives from the word defeating, means to win a victory in a battle over someone. It means to crush yes. or to conquer. That's right. Therefore, when we speak of defeat, we are referring to an individual taking charge or an individual conquering something through the power of the Holy Spirit. According to Paul in Romans 8 and verse 37, for Paul Defeat means to conquer. He reminds the Romans that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. Hallelujah. John wrote from the oil of Patmos. He says for one to overcome, we cannot overcome in our own strength. He pointed out in Revelation 12, verse 12, 10 and 11. And he says that if we are going to overcome this adversary, 
then we have to overcome him with the blood of the Lamb yeah. and the word of our testimony. Come on, preach, preach. We're trying to teach his children that we cannot overcome in this flesh Come because on. this flesh will certainly fail us. That's right. That's right. Samuel opens chapter 17 of 1 Samuel and he says, Now the Philistine gathered their armies together to battle. And were gathered at Shoko, which belongs to Judah. Yes. Judah in the Hebrew means praise. Yes. Okay. There's nowhere better to gather for battle but a place in God where we can pray and where we can praise. Somebody in the hands and praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have proven my God. 
if I want to be a fearless servant, you must have a testimony of where God has taken you from. Oh, blessed be the name of God. The greatest problem that we are facing now is not coronavirus. But the greatest giant before us is fear. Because those who have it is fearing. And those who don't have it is fearful. So the greatest giant that is before us is fear. And I can imagine the army of Saul was there for 40 days. They were crippled by fear. They were crippled by the size of the giant. Oh God Almighty. But David knew that there was a God in Israel. Oh blessed be the name of the Lord who could deliver. There was a God in Israel whom he feared. And he did not fear the giant. He feared God. And he kept his commandments. But he did not fear the signs of the giants. The Bible says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Hallelujah. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive them of their sins. Oh, hallelujah. And I will heal their land. That's right. My people. David was not fearful. Fear God. Come on. David was not fearful. When he heard the armies of Saul disrespect the God that he served, he says, Who are these uncircumcised Philistines? And if you notice in the text that David did not call him Goliath because Goliath in the Hebrew means champion. So David did not declare him a champion. He was just an uncircumcised Philistine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not turn our attention to coronavirus because there is a greater God whose name is Jesus. And the Bible says that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Corona will bow because it's not greater than the God of Israel. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Jesus Christ, blessed be the name of our God, the church, will the church will remain confident, the church will continue to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah, 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 our crew might be restricted to ten, oh, but the power of the gospel of Christ, you oh God. Jesus, the bodies will be healed. Oh, 
everybody was fearful yes. of the child. Yes. And David did not watch any face. He was about 17 years of age. Yes. He says, Who is this uncircumcised fish? Yes. Could you imagine the baby being the, 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 the days in the church who have been there for 20 and 40 years? And they said to David, sit down. This one brother sit down. said to him, sit down. You're just a boy. Sit down. You're just a boy. But we have a personal experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody can restrict you. Nobody can restrict you when you have a personal experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. He had a testimony. He had a testimony. He says, I was in the field. And a bear and a lion came by.
and his arm is to run back and be destroyed. Everyone in Philistines were looking for the giant to take the head of David. They challenged the God of Israel. And they says, if we defeat your people, then you will have to serve us. You will have to serve us. But David says, I'm not really concerned about the daughter that you promised that you will give to the man that destroyed this Philistine. I'm concerned about the name and the reputation of the God of Israel. That is my concern. And I know where God has taken me from. I know the power that he has. I know where I've been. I know where I am now. So don't tell me that the God of Israel cannot destroy this uncircumcised Philistine. I will walk through the valley of Elah and I will fear no evil because God is with me. God is with me. God is going before me. God is going before us. And he's going to make the crooked path straight. This too shall pass. Coronavirus will also pass. Because God is able to deliver. And then sometimes we get up in the morning and the first thing we do is to turn on the news to hear how many people died yesterday. That's the first thing some of us do. But God is saying, when you get up in the morning, take off your Bible. Take up your Bible. Have your devotion. And then you proceed from here. The Bible says that the step of the righteous is ordered by God. The step of the righteous is ordered by God. Don't allow fear to stop you from serving God the way that you should. Don't allow fear to cripple you. Right now, because of fear, some people are so crippled in their mind. They are so afraid. They are not able to have their own devotion. They are not able to read the word of God. Because fear has crippled their thoughts, their minds. But God must be praised, must be worshipped, in spite of what is going on. In spite of what is going on, the name of the Lord Jesus must be praised. And as a church, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Yes. And we shall defeat the giant of fear that is facing our country, that is facing our world. And we shall lift the bloodstained banner high. We shall testify that the God that we serve will deliver. I heard one song writer song, and they says, My God delivers again. You may not know how, you may not know when, but my God delivers again. Walk with courage. If you have to go to work, go with courage. Go with wisdom. Whatever you have to do, do it with wisdom. But don't forget to pray. Because you cannot defeat the giant of fear without praise and without prayer. May God continue to bless us. May God continue to keep us. May God continue to cause us.
of his face to shine down upon us. God bless you.
Lord, sir, Lord, who have proclaimed your word, that we don't need to fear, we just need to believe in the God who have brought us through many toils and steers. He has brought us through chicken gummy. He has brought us through dengue. He has brought us through all these viruses. We will say as a three Hebrew born, we will not bow. Say I will not bow. I will not bow. I will not bow. But I will look to the hills from where is coming my help. My help coming from the Lord. Father, I thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. And God, cover me under your blood. Cover my family under your blood. Cover my community under your blood. Cover Jamaica under your blood. Cover this universe under your blood. We need you, God, in this time. Have your way and be with us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. And amen. We see it by saying that the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. God bless you. See you Sunday morning live on Facebook.